Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to scan documents on your iPhone in iOS 26 and show you a cool feature. If it's a document that needs to be filled out, you can scan it and then fill it out. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks guys. Now, first you're gonna open up the preview app here. If you don't see it, just swipe down and type in preview. It's a brand new app that they brought to the iPhone in iOS 26. Now, after you've done that, it's pretty straightforward. You can see at the very top, it says scan documents. I'll show you how it works. I'm gonna tap scan documents, and now just hover over the document, and it will automatically recognize it and take that image. Now, keep in mind, it's a bit glitchy because if you just keep holding it here, it will take another photo. So you wanna move it off of the document after it's done, or it'll just keep taking it over and over. Now, after you've done that, you can tap at the bottom left to see those three scans. So let's say, all right, I scanned that twice. I'm gonna hit the delete button. So now I just have these two different ones. Of course, I can tap the adjust button if I want to adjust exactly the corners. I can choose to rotate it, etc. But let's say I'm good to go. I'm gonna hit the back arrow and then the check mark at the top right. So it's created that file for me. You can see at the very top, it says scan document and I can tap the drop down arrow. It's a PDF document. If at this point you're good to go, you can save it to your phone, you can export it, you can share it with somebody, you can print it, you have a bunch of different options. However, a cool option at the bottom here is if you tap on the little pencil and paper, you can also fill out any form. So say you have a physical form like a lease, you wanna scan it and then fill it out all you need to do is tap on here and then you can fill out your name, for instance, or date of birth, or you can even, if you wanted to, go back out of here and you can tap on the signature. Oh, let me open that back up. You can tap on the little pen and paper and you can draw something or you can sign it however you want. And then of course you can save it, send it, et cetera. Hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below and I'll catch you on the next one.